Namaste ji, namaste. Welcome to Courtroom. I sincerely hope that you're doing well. My name is Sahaj and I teach law for judiciary exams at Courtroom. So today we'll be discussing about the Delhi Judicial Services exam and I always consider that a competitive exam is, is like a fight. Now to fight and to aim to win, the first and primest requirement is to know your opponent and what exactly are we fighting against to secure a win of course. And the opponents, of course, are your competition as well. But the prime opponent is the exam. Because exam, to tackle the exam and to secure a seat, you need a lot of hard work. You need a lot of sustained hard work. And you need a fair amount of confidence in your prep. And you need a fair amount of luck as well. There is no denying that. There are three stages to this exam. So... To prepare for this exam, first and foremost, we need to understand what exactly are we going up against. I'll be following the 2022 key notification. I won't be going into the data of cutoffs, etc. into this specific lecture. We'll discuss that some other day. I have the data. I've done all the analysis as well. But if we go into those numbers right now, uh, people tend to focus a lot more on numbers rather than their own prep, which I don't want you to do. So there is the pre stage, then there is mains, and then there is viva. So it's a three-stage examination. You qualify after uh, attempting the prelims. You go in for mains. You qualify that, and then you go in for viva. Now there are minimum a number of marks required at each and every stage. So this is not a very easy cake to to eat. This is, you can say, a slightly above average difficulty. But if the preparation is right and if luck favors us on that very day, because that is also important, I'm sure that we can take a very fair attempt at, uh, at clearing this exam. Let us enter the waters. Let us dissect everything. Let us take a look at what exactly this exam commands from us. It is requiring a certain few things, which if we prepare it in a stepwise process, I believe that... Uh, that we can, we can take a fair shot. Baki to sab ishwar ki chha. Secondly, secondly, is that the purpose of this session is to dissect it so much so that we understand that we are not overwhelmed by how to prepare for this exam. So the main answer, the main question that I'm trying to answer via this lecture is how do we start our preparation and what do we start? Because when a student looks at the syllabus, students mostly in my experience, I've taught for a long time now, they get overwhelmed and that is primarily wherein teachers, guides, coaches, etc. come into play as to, to tell them as to where to start your preparation from. But first let us understand the prelims ka pattern. So prelims is, is a question paper that is worth 200 marks. Now this is primarily screening. Whatever you score here will not be counted in the final uh, list that comes out and hopefully that your name will be there. So pre is 200 marks. The first topic that they have defined is as general legal general knowledge. So this, uh, in my I don't know, last four to five years of uh, us teaching DULLB primarily, a lot of my batches could, could tackle this, and I very proudly say this, could tackle this area of this exam very, very well, because we covered out legal current affairs, covered out questions such as who was those first green judge, MC Mehta, PIL, you know, static legal GK, first woman chief justice of a high court, which high court was that? first woman uh, judge of the Supreme Court, etc. So all of the, and then you, GUI Act 1935, pre-constitutional history one and two, in which what all led to the development of the constitution. They also include terms such as mortgage lease, even though TPA is not mentioned as a part of prelims by the way, but standard legal terms, standard legal maxims. So basically the way the old school law entrances used to be conducted prior to 2019, that is pretty much in this section. So DULLB's prep, since I'm primarily talking to folks from Delhi, will, will most likely aid you in covering out this portion of pre. And then you have English standard, English stuff. If you scan through past years, you will find questions on prepositions, usage of articles, antonyms, synonyms, spellings. Again, standard law entrance stuff. Nothing much more complicated in these two topics. Um, very, very crystal clear with whatever they are asking you. Then they go into MCQ based questions on the Constitution of India, which my students from DULLB are champions in specifically this subject. And uh, COI, Kuper, I think we are just about to launch a test series as well. 
will be out in about three weeks of time. I'm right now preparing it online just for pre, just for MCQ oriented, taki sare aapke sari cheezen sari ki sari cover out ho jaye. But Constitution of India is is fairly easy when we come to the MCQ oriented style of asking questions from it. I believe there is no simpler bare act from which you can tackle out questions on an MCQ basis. This is the easiest thing. The Constitution of India, of course, judgments are included, amendments are included. What all led to the development of the Constitution, the um, the borrowed features of the Constitution, etc. You know, the standard stuff. What does Part 3 contain? What does Article 12 contain? Article 12 means state key definition. Ka all of that jazz, right? Then you go to CPC, standard stuff, CRPC, IPC, Indian Contract Act. You go to the LLP Act, this is um, you know unique features of DJS, Arbitration and Conciliation Act, Indian Evidence Act, Specific Relief Act and Limitation Act. subject MCQ oriented jabab level pe jate hain. Inme se kafi saral tarike ke questions aate hain. above average difficulty hi kahunga kabhi agar aapne LLM ka paper attempt kiya ho, you will pretty much find all of these to be fairly at that level only. Nothing much more, nothing complicated. You have to practice questions. You have to keep on going through the bare act. You have to keep on marking the sections from which uh, questions are being repeated again and again and again. And you can tackle this also by attempting all MCQs of all states and all similarly placed exams such as APO, LLM, and then you come back to Judiciary Pre. Judiciary Pre ki zyada tar tiyari utni kathin nahi hai. Ye mera manna hai. Now again, this is purely a purely a subjective opinion. You are free to disagree with it. But this is the subject list and then there are two more again peculiar features of the DJS that is uh, Protection of Children from Sexual Offences Act and the Commercial Courts Act. Now this Commercial Courts Act will make a return along with a few other subjects in the main Zwala portion as well. So you have pretty much you have 12 bare acts all right. So if you count all of these you will get 12 bare acts to cover. And then you have two topics, two broad topics that is one is English and one is General Legal GK. So you have in a total of 14 topics, if we start to bifurcate and we give two weeks to each, you get 28 weeks and if you are a very slow learner type of a person, then you can take three weeks, then that's 42 weeks. I believe, you know, you can't, the upper limit has to be 42 weeks, but 42 weeks is too damn much for um, for pre-ki theory. It has to be done primarily in 28 odd weeks, 28 weeks max, 30 weeks, right? And what is... Uh, up ne char se divide kar lije whatever answers that you start to get itne mein taiyari bahut bahut aaram se ho sakti hai aur agar isse upar taiyari ja rahi hai to kahin na kahin hum galti kha rahe hain always why so just keep these time frames in mind you know 7 months is more than enough and in even if like let us say that you take a pre so many many aspirants make this mistake ki pre bilkul hi chhod diya mains karte reh gaye aur end mein pre ke questions kyunki wahan pe pre mein bare act nahi hai mains mein hai so, वहाँ पे pre के questions में लड़खड़ा गए और you know last I think I, last year in 2022 the last general category candidate that got through was 129.75 if I'm not mistaken from my numbers or like क्योंकि numbers ऐसे recall I do not like to recall these numbers I like to recall articles and sections so 129.75 के नीचे भी गिर गए तो भी कोई फायदा नहीं हुआ अगर mains की तैयारी भी top shot हो रखी होगी तो so pre ki tayari saath saath karni hai ek 6 mahine ka time frame and you know you can't just dedicate exclusively 6 months to pre ki pehle 6 mahine pre hi karunga aur kuch chhedunga ya chhedungi nahi kripa karke pre aur mains ki tayari saath saath karega do not neglect pre this is one of the most common mistakes that the folks make ki pre pre kya kya hai pre to ho hi jata hai saath saath pre ki bhi tayari karte hue to mcq practice hi to karne hai ji zyada kuch zyada matlab zyada kuch pre mein itni kathinai hai nahi because Already, since you must be a law graduate to attempt this exam, you've already cleared a law entrance, most likely. And uh, you already, even if you didn't clear one, if, if you are from a private university, you still would have prepared for one. And I'm sure that you pretty much, as soon as you see DJS pre ke questions, you'll be like, Are, it's a DULB, Are, yeah, ye normal wala jo. Koi bhi law entrance, ab CVT PG mein to DULB ki mritti hoi chuki hai. So, that's not the law entrance, because you don't have law entrance, but you will be able to figure out that hey, this is absolutely okay. Okay, now they have put in a condition that you need to have 60% minimum for us to even consider you. So, out of 200, you need to have 120 minimum. And then they say, let us say that 
they advertise 63 vacancies all right now this is a random number that i chose i really don't know from where did i choose this but 63 vacancies so 10 times of that number will be called for mains so that is 630 will be called for mains so descending order mein list laga denge of course topper ke sabse upar aayenge and then 630 people now this is 63 is a hypothetical figure it can be let us say it can be replaced with 32 it can be with 38 whatever whatever the number of vacancies in your category is 10 times that number will go to the mains for assessment now all right so and these these marks they are they are not they are not counted as such I would say whenever you're starting your pre ki tayari, always start with the Constitution of India because that is the dead simple, most simple subject. And you will, you know, you can pretty much wade through these waters very, very easily. And judiciary may add rakhega, you do not need to you know, wrote, learn all these, especially for DJS. I'm specifically talking about DJS. I am not going into any other state because each state comes with its own peculiarity and formats. Usually there are sister states. Ek na ek state kahi na kahi format bilkul hi similar ho jata hai. So you can pretty much prepare for two states in one, one prep attempt. So start with the constitution of India always because it, it gives you a headway. It gives you, matlab wo is rakshas ki pooch kaan se pakadni. To wo, it, it gives you an, an entry point without being overwhelmed. And since everybody mostly is comfortable with the constitution of India, CLAT 2019 tak to CLAT wale bhi bilkul champion hoda the constitution mein even before appearing for the law entrance. So you guys will be pretty much very, very comfortable with the constitution of India, all right? Then I would suggest CPC, 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 CPC is a monster of an act. Once you get the hang of it, it becomes simple, but initially it will look like, what is happening order rule section? Kya ho hai bhai sahab yahan par? Matlab, the student tends to get overwhelmed unless and only you're very familiar with the CPC, unless and only you've been in practice, you know, uh, 151 ki application etc matlab kahan order decree aur judgment ke beech mein antar batao and uh, <laughs> unless you have seen this in practice i haven't really encountered one book in my lifetime till date that makes this distinction very crystal clear so you have to do a bit of legal research on these questions and, and get these model answers ready as well but CPC mein thoda sa ruk ke jayenge. Uske baad aap chale jayi IPC mein. Because IPC you will be very comfortable. The IPC pe jara wohi chapter. Char, general exceptions. Section 76. 2106 read with 105 of evidence. And then section 6 of IPC talks about the entire IPC being subject to general exceptions. IPC is dead simple. So we'll, we'll start with the halka subjects. And then progressively go on to the bhari bhari subjects. That is that is my way of going into into pre because let us say that you enter into a gym and then वहाँ पे वो जो 200 किलो के डंबल हैं and then you just like you your body will give up it will not want to return to the gym so start with CUI go to IPC complete out ICA Indian Contract Act these are dead simple subjects buddy all right and then then now do not let go of CPC because now it is time now आपका आपका इंजन इंजन वार्म हो गया you go to CPC, then up here by CRPC, and then you can cover out these subjects in whatever order that you like. But this is the entry point. That is the main purpose of this, this lecture. And then eventually you enter into these waters. Isme zada kaam nahi karna hota. These are like very recent additions to the syllabus. So isme zada abhi koi past year questions bhi nahi milenge. But you know, you'll, you'll, need, you'll need either someone to, to guide you to what to look, look out for in these barracks or Past year questions ya kahi idhar udhar se basically similarly placed question papers se samaj mein aayega ki what all can they ask from these acts, alright? And pre-marks are not counted for your final appointment list just make sure kare ki aapka naam ho. Now we go to mains. Now mains is, is where the entire game really is. Pre to any matlab, pre is just wo. You go to a restaurant and then they bring you that pyaas chutney papad. No, it's just free ka samana ki chalo ji. Now they have assessed you, they've screened you ki bhaiya itna basic aata hai tabhi tere means ke answer pakke. That is the purpose of, of a pre ka exam any which way. So first and foremost you have a GLK and language, uh, general legal knowledge and language ka paper. This is where I believe out of 250, you score the maximum amount of marks. This is uh, an excellent domain in which you can score marks. So current legal affairs, so number ka aata hai. Like, abhi, abhi, just abhi, 31 January 2023 ko, Supreme Court ne 
uh, they clarified the Joseph Schein judgment and how it doesn't apply to Section 45 of the Armed Forces Act and Section 63 as well. I've just recently done a lecture on it for CLAT PG. So you have to cover out current legal affairs. CLAT PG ki bhi tiyari kar rahe ho, ye like you know standard lectures on right to privacy standard lectures on shabri mala standard standard topics you can say which i believe aren't really very tough just standard legal developments abhi the 22nd law commission has also come out with its reports they have recommended a few things on sedition they have recommended they are asking for recommendations on the ucc stuff such as that so you need to prepare out those answers beforehand before that you can even think of mains. Now that depends on the year in which that you are attempting this. Alright. So wo usme thoda sa dek ke hi chalna padta. Dates or marks. Language, it is an HSO. What is an HSO? That's a high scoring opportunity. I have a friend who cleared uh, DJS in, I think, last to last year ki baat hai. Abhi tak to, uh, training, training ho ke, I think unki posting ho chuki ho ke, kahi na kahi. And uh, she said that uh, this is, so I've discussed this, um, with her in detail so she said that this is where I scored the maximum number of marks and uh, it, this this is where it saved me and eventually got me a selection translation aati hai, one Hindi to English and English to Hindi all right ya to either get used to declot barracks to improve your Hindi if you are not really comfortable with Hindi because see you are applying for a job in Delhi job of of a magistrate primarily pehle to, and eventually a judge so अब आपके पास ऐसा तो नहीं कि सारी कॉर्पोरेट वाले साउथ दिल्ली वाले या कोई इंग्लिश स्पीकिंग ही आएंगे ना हिंदी वाले भी आएंगे सो यू नीड टू बी एज कंफर्टेबल इन हिंदी एज दैट यू आर इन इंग्लिश एंड यू नीड टू डेमोन्स्ट्रेट इट टू देम दैट यू विल बी एबल टू रीड कंप्लेन्ट्स लेटर्स एप्लीकेशन एक्सेट्रा इन हिंदी एंड एंड एडमिनिस्टर जस्टिस विच इज प्राइमरली द जॉब दैट यू आर अप्लाइंग फॉर दिस इज वेर यू कैन स्कोर अ वेरी डिसेंट अमाउंट ऑफ मार्क्स डू नॉट इग्नोर दिस वर्क ऑन योर हिंदी any time that you want to learn a language any time i learned i learned hindi by listening to a hell lot of kumar vishwas and a hell lot of hosh i was that person who hadn't ever watched a hindi movie till about 2008 to 2009 uh, thanks to uh, well by god's grace uh, i i went to to such a school and such colleges that my english my verbal ability shot through the roof but um, well i never really wanted to even look at hindi i was that sort of person once upon a time lekin ab ab i am dead comfortable with hindi by listening to a lot of exemplary hindi speakers over the years over the years matlab ab mujhe hindi mein vartalap karne mein koi kathinai nahi hai yahan par hindi ke maine hamesha ye sikha hai ki agar aapne kisi bhasha ko कह सकते हैं कि अपने जहन में डालना हो अब जहन उर्दू शब्द है मैं प्राइमरली हिंदी हिंदी और उर्दू का मिक्स ही यूज कर रहा हूँ यहाँ पर यू स्टार्ट लिसनिंग टू इट कॉन्स्टेंटली आई लिसन टू अ लॉर्ड ऑफ कुमार विश्वास एंड आई लिसन टू अ लॉर्ड ऑफ ओशो दैट ऑफकोर्स यू नो दैट रेली डजन हेल्प यू गेट मार्क्स ऑन ऑन दिस एग्जाम बट हाउ एवर इट डज ट्रेन यू एंड देन इवेंचुअली इट एड्स यू इन टू टैकलिंग दीज टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन क्योंकि दिमाग फिर हिंदी में सोचना शुरू हो जाता है तो इफ यू आर अ पर्सन हु very comfortable in english but not you know not all that comfortable in hindi try listening to speakers and try practicing out these passages and there are ample resources available for this uh jo online websites bhi hain kai legal websites ko bhi aap hindi mein agar aap pad lenge that will give you terms so you need to make a list of words you need to have a glossary of terms any time that you encounter a new um new hindi word relating to these passages as in while translating or or even even reading a legal article and you have no damn clue of to what that word means such as a yachika or whatever you need to write that down because stuff such as that really really helps you in getting these marks all right then you have the civil law one ka paper you have civil law two ka paper and then you have criminal law so 250 200 200 200 is 600 250 is 850 and then the 800 mark ka or 150 marks is for your viva all right now we are going into cl1 let us break apart cl2 then let us go for criminal law so one hint is there civil law one civil law two 400 number ka out of 1000 40% is devoted to civil law this entire paper may 40% is civil law 
then you can say out of a thousand I'm including viva in the thousand as well criminal law is 20 percent 25 percent is your general legal knowledge and language 40 plus 25 65 percent is tending to go towards civil and language and general legal knowledge do you get the gist of the paper as to where this paper and, and where do you have to crack it I'm not saying ignore criminal law because criminal law asan hai musibat yahan par aati hai ठीक है जी और अगर आप पिछले साल की भी लिस्ट देख लेंगे नंबरों की तो आपको फेयर आइडिया हो जाएगा कि मार्किंग वार्किंग कैसे चल रही है बिकॉज आई हैव सीन पीपल स्कोरिंग 440 फोर्टी प्लस आउट ऑफ अ थाउजेंड एंड नॉट गेटिंग अ कॉल फॉर द वाइवा क्योंकि वाइवा के बाद वाला मैंने ट्रैक नहीं करा फाइनल अपॉइंटमेंट लिस्ट मेरे पास नहीं आई थिंक आई थिंक है भी सेव है कहीं पर कंप्यूटर पर बिकॉज आई यूजली ट्रैक ऑल दीज रिजल्ट नाउ यू वैन यू गो टू सिविल लॉ वन यू हैव स्टैंडर्ड आई सी ए दैट इज इंडियन कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एक्ट यू हैव योर सोगा ईश्वर करे आपका कभी सोगा ना हो किसी भी लॉ के पेपर में सेल्स ऑफ गुड्स एक्ट जस्ट एन इंटरनल जो कैन दी फैकल्टी ऑफ लॉ ट्रांसफर प्रॉपर्टी एक्ट स्पेसिफिक रिलीफ एक्ट फैमिली लॉ हिंदू एंड मोहम्मद लॉ एंड दी आपका डेली रेंट कंट्रोल एक्ट ऑफ कोर्स दिल्ली का पेपर दे रहे हैं तो दिल्ली रेंट कंट्रोल एक्ट कॉमन मामले एन आई एक्ट भी आएगी आएगी वो आगे आएगी टॉट्स स्टैंडर्ड स्टाफ स्टैंडर्ड टॉट्स द इज द ईजिएस्ट एन डी एम सी न्यू डेली म्यूनिसिपल कॉपोरेशन एंड डेली म्यूनिसिपल कॉपोरेशन एक्ट एंड देन कमर्शल कोर्ट्स एक्ट रिपीट्स फ्रॉम प्री और राइट of course ICA वगैरह भी repeats but this is that छोटी मोटी act which is repeating which is getting mentioned there it's getting mentioned here as well now this is comprehensive syllabus as in comprehensive in in the sense that this is all that you need to do but how do you go about it is that if you start studying theory right away let us say you get into the specific of the Delhi Delhi Rent Control Act फलाना डम गाना जो भी पुरानी किताबों से कुछ नहीं पल्ले पड़ेगा I suggest फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट सिट डाउन विथ क्वेश्चन कि ये जा कहाँ रहा है ये दिस दिस इज़ अ वेरी एप्लीकेशन बेस्ड पेपर दे आर नॉट टेस्टिंग यू ऑन योर रोड लर्निंग रोड लर्निंग का बेस्ट तो दे टेस्ट इन द प्रीम्स दे टेस्ट यू ऑन योर एबिलिटी टू अप्लाई द सेक्शन टू द लॉ बिकॉज सेक्शन बेर एक्ट तो दे ही रहे हैं कि वो कह रहे हैं ये पड़ी बेर एक्ट खोल ले और बता कौन सा कानून कहाँ लगेगा दिस इज यू नो इट इट ऑलवेज डी जे एस मीन ऑलवेज रिमाइंड मी ऑफ फैकल्टी ऑफ लॉ के सेमेस्टर के एग्जाम्स दैट I won't say that they are very very they are very very similar because faculty of law semester exam में कुछ भी लिख के आ जाओ काफ़ी बहुत लंबी चौड़ी कहानी भी लिख के आओ यू यू टेंड टू गेट सम मार्क्स यहाँ पर ऐसा कुछ नहीं होता दिस इज दिस इज अ डिफरेंट बॉल गेम इन टर्म्स ऑफ द मार्क्स दैट यू गेट बट दी स्टाइल ऑफ क्वेश्चनिंग समटाइम्स इज वेरी सिमिलर आई द की वर्ड इज समाइम्स नॉट ऑल द टाइम ऑल राइट सो ऑल ऑफ दीज सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटीज दैट इज वाई दे आर जज फैक्ट्रीज बिकॉज दी जुडिशरी एग्जाम देर ऑल्सो सरकारी और यूनिवर्सिटीज सरकारी थोड़ी सी ना माइंड सेट में अलाइनमेंट आ जाती है That does mean that एन एल यू वगैरह वाले जनता आर एट डिसएडवाटेज आपकी एजुकेशन का स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ कोर्स थोड़ा सा हायर है ही और राइट सम एन एल यूज नॉट ऑल नॉट ऑल सम एन एल यूज ठीक है जी तो ये सारा जो आपका है यहाँ से मुझे लगता है अगेन टू गेट इन टू टू गेट इन टू क्रिमिनल लॉ वन आई से ऑलवेज स्टार्ट विद ऑलवेज स्टार्ट विद आई सी ए टॉट एंड सोगा दैट विल दीज आर दीज आर ईजी ईजी टॉपिक्स बिकॉज यू प्रिपेयर दैम फॉर योर एंट्रेंस यू प्रिपेयर दैम इन योर फर्स्ट सेम यू आर प्री मच वेरी फेमिलियर टॉट्स बेचारे में तो कोई बेर एक्ट भी नहीं राइट वही स्टैंडर्ड राइलेंस वर्सेज फ्लेचर स्ट्रिक्ट लाइबिलिटी एब्सोलूट लाइबिलिटी बट हाउ डू अप्लाई दोज कॉन्सेप्ट इन टू फिक्शनल सिचुएशन दट दे विल गिव यू इन द मेन्स का पेपर एंड टी पी ए अगेन इज एक्सट्रीमली ईजी आई डोंट फाइंड एनी एक्ट ईजियर दैन टी पी ए एक्सेप्ट सम सेक्शन विच आर वेरी डैम पेक्यूलियर पता नहीं कौन लिख रहा था कौन देवता ने लिखी है ये एक्ट बट दे आर वेरी वेरी ईजी जब यहाँ पे बात आती है डेली रेंट कंट्रोल एक्ट दिस इज अ टेढ़ा मेढ़ा सब्जेक्ट दिस कैन ओनली बी टैकल आउट बाय बाय पास्ट ईयर सो आई सजेस्ट सिट विद द क्वेश्चंस फर्स्ट एंड देन गो टू योर मेन थ्योरी की बुक्स बिकॉज दैट विल रियली हेल्प यू इन इन अंडरस्टैंडिंग एज टू इवन टू हाउ डू अप्रोच दिस डैम एग्जाम बिकॉज दिस इज अ डैम लेंदी प्रोसेस टू टैकल राइट सो दिस इज ओनली सिविल लॉ वन राइट एंड आई से दैट टेक अबाउट टू और मंथ्स फुल्ली वैन यू आर डिवोटेड टू मीन्स की प्रैप ऑफकोर्स प्री के क्वेश्चन साथ साथ प्रैक्टिस आउट करते रहिए बट फुल्ली आप ये करिए कि साथ में प्री के क्वेश्चन करते हुए दो से तीन महीने में सिविल लॉ वन आपका तैयारी हो जानी चाहिए पास्ट ईयर क्वेश्चन लगा कर सिलेबस वलेबस कम्प्लीट करके और ये दिन के आपके चार से छः घंटे तो यू विल कान डू कान डू विदाउट दैट एंड जब ये गेम खेलनी हो तभी आइएगा मतलब संकल्प लेके आइएगा एंड जस्ट बी डैम डैम सीरियस अबाउट दिस एग्जाम कि भाई दिस बिकम्स यू नो दिस प्रिपरेशन बिकम्स माय लाइफ फॉर द नेक्स्ट 
one odd year because 12 months to 15 months is the ideal time frame to prepare for it when should you start preparing somewhere ideally speaking for if if, if you've just joined law school complete your first semester even complete your second semester doesn't really matter i'm talking about a three year lb primarily here and then you have two years then before you graduate or saath saath agar aap shuru karna chahte to kariye kai log karte hain kai logo ki ye bhi approach hai that you know i just want to practice for a few years then maybe i'll attempt it sure enough but then you please keep the age factors and the promotion factors in mind but ek saal practice karne se bhi bahut fayda ho jata hai because you are technically speaking then you are living the law then the understanding comes far more clearer as well but if you want to let us say uh, prepare for it while you are in law school in for a three year llb at the end of the first year becomes a crucial time to start preparing either on your own or either join a coaching institute whatever it is that you decide or in, this is no promotion for joining a coaching institute but if you want to take help you uh, want to prepare it with with a certain amount of guidance and aid you know, you can consider this i believe there is endless there are endless coaching institutes in delhi one of us is one of them is us one amongst those is us but we try to stay away from the standard coaching practices we are starting the online batches very very soon for djs the offline ones will start before the year ends as uh, as now we are primarily judiciary exclusive offline online though we still are preparing for as in preparing students for nlsat and cut pg but primarily we are judiciary exclusive because okay, offline mein fir nahi ho pata baki exams nahi ho pata chhodne hi padte hain because ye ye jo madam hai ye jaan mangti hain और फिर जान और प्राण की बलि देंगे तो फिर यहाँ पे कोई रिजल्ट निकलेगा एनी विच वे वी गो टू क्रिम सिविल ऑ टू देन यू हैव सी पी सी देन यू हैव द इंडियन एविडेंस एक्ट यू हैव द लिमिटेशन एक्ट मैंने हमेशा वो लिमिट वाला ऐसे इंटरनल जो है हमारे यहाँ पे देन लिमिटेशन एक्ट के बाद आपका आ जाता है आर्बिट्रेशन एंड कॉन्सुलेशन एक्ट यू हैव द ट्रेडमार्क एक्ट यू हैव द कॉपी राइट एक्ट बेसिकली ट्रेडमार्क एक्ट कॉपी राइट एक्ट तो आई पी आर दिस इज अगेन हाई स्कोरिंग अपॉर्चुनिटी प्लीज Uh, ये आपका यहाँ पे काफ़ी काम हो जाता है आई डो नॉट निगलेक्ट आई पी आर एंड देन यू हैव द रजिस्ट्रेशन एक्ट रजिस्ट्रेशन एक्ट तो एज एज अ पर्सन हु इज अटेम्प्टिंग जुडिशरी यू नीड टू हैव ऑन योर फिंगर टिप्स देन यू गो क्रिमिनल लॉ अगेन नाउ इफ यू लुक एट सिविल लॉ टू नो वेन यू हैव दिस इज दिस पेपर रिक्वायर्स टाइम हैवी सेकेंड एक्ट हैवी हैवी IPR simple yet voluminous. This paper requires यहाँ subject कम है but the quality of the subjects is is shooting through the roof, all right? And यहाँ पे time लगता है so devote like around three to four odd months for this fully exclusively for civil law टू time लगता है यहाँ पर क्योंकि the the kind of quality that you need to demonstrate remember it's a competitive exam so we are fighting amongst our opponents our fellow students and we are trying to demonstrate to sarkar that i am better than him or her that's what a competition really is that survival of the fittest choose the best amongst us all right and you go to criminal law criminal law this is simple if you scan through the past years also it is simple because criminal law any which way is a is is a, is a simpler field of law i've always believed it to be that way because ipc is very clear cut it's very blunt If A goes to B, then A cannot go to G, then go cannot go to Z, and then cannot come back to B. A has to go to B. The illustrations are dead clear. So as usual, IPC, CRPC, ये बहुत आसान है ये आप दोनों ही subjects बड़े बड़े ही clear cut हैं. CRPC थोड़ी सी फैल जाती है but है simple. मतलब CRPC में एक बहुत logical order है. Once you get the hang of it, you will you will be able to find it. And then you have the evidence again. Evidence तो हर जगह ही. That is the the common factor. Ganesh ji हैं. क्रिमिनल में भी सिविल में भी पहले इनको मत्था टेकना पड़ता है बिकॉज इवेंचुअली बिना प्रूफ बिना एविडेंस के कोर्ट चलेगी ही कैसे आपकी कोर्ट इवेंचुअली इवेंचुअली तो आप ही चलाएंगे ना तो यू विल बी द कोर्ट मास्टर एज एन यू विल बी द मास्टर ऑफ द कोर्ट राइट एंड देन यू विल बी प्रिसाइडिंग ओवर इट एंड देन यू नीड टू कंट्रोल इट एंड देन इवेंचुअली द डिसीजन द एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ जस्टिस एविडेंस के बिना कुछ नहीं चलता सो एविडेंस बिकम्स अ की कॉम्पोनेंट एविडेंस इज रिपीटेड आई वुड से कि एविडेंस पहले भी तैयार कर सकते हैं मेनली जो मतलब ऐसा तो नहीं है कि बिना किसी और सब्जेक्ट के तैयार कर सकते हैं क्योंकि एविडेंस के तो ऑक्टोबर स्टाइल सब्जेक्ट है लिंकेजेस हैं विद इट्स टेंटिकल्स एवरीवेयर बट व्हाट यू कैन डू इज लाइक प्रिपेयर द द मेन मेन थ्योरी डाइन डेक्लेशन एक्सेट्रा यू नो स्टफ सच एज दैट 
section 5 theory of relevancy facts and issue relevant facts the core subjects i've given a few sample lectures of indian evidence act on this like on this channel as well and you have the protection of women from dv that is domestic violence ni act juvenile justice act and sexual harassment of women at workplace of shaka guidelines ke baad jo act eventually implement hui thi 2013 mein this portion is simple this portion is tedious this portion मतलब पेक्यूलियर है मतलब मज़ा नहीं आता लेकिन करना पड़ता है यहाँ पे फिर भी आनंद आना शुरू हो जाता है कि शुरुआत तो मजबूरी में किए थे लेकिन अब मज़ा आ रहा है टाइप यहाँ पे ये यह थोड़ा सा रहता है कि यार क्या हो रहा है बट इंटरेस्टिंग सब्जेक्ट्स टू स्टडी आई बिलीव वेरी रेलिवेंट वो एवर कीप्स ऑन अपडेटिंग दी डी जे सिलेबस दे अप्लाई दर माइंड दिल्ली हाई कोर्ट इज साफ्ट वन ऑफ द बेस्ट इन द कंट्री नाउ आफ्टर यूर थ्रू विद ऑल दिस Here is the marking scheme again. So you have 850. They are saying that we need 40 percent each. In each and every exam, we need a 40 percent. So you have to have a hundred in the pella paper. I'm purely talking about the unreserved, as in general categories. You need to have an 80 here. You need to have an 80 here, and then you need to have an 80 here. If total करेंगे तो 80, 80, 100, 100, 100, 80, 200, 40, 200, 40, 300, 40, 40. But they want a 425 minimum. That is a 50% minimum for you to even get considered for a viva. Wow. So 40% here in the four rooms and 50% overall aggregate they want minimum for you to consider. You are not selected now. You are waiting for the next round. Okay, wow, wow, wow. Very, very good thing. They are saying that whatever the number of vacancies that we had advertised, remember we had taken the hypothetical figure of 63, will call three times of those numbers. अब जिनके भी जैसे भी नंबर आएंगे उनको लिस्ट में लगा देंगे और वहाँ पे वो लिख देगा शॉर्ट लिस्टेड फॉर वाइवा वॉचे एंड या वाइवा वॉचे वाइवा वॉयस कई लोग अलग अलग प्रोनाउंसिएशन टोमेटो टोमाटो वट एवर वाई वाई बोल देते हैं हम तो दैट्स वन एटी नाइन अगर सिक्स के हिसाब से लगाऊँ वन एटी नाइन कैंडिडेट्स मिनिमम इनका फोर से तो ऊपर आएगा ही आएगा क्या पता फोर फोर्टी डिपेंडिंग ऑन ये वन बाकी होंगे कैसे आए सो देन थ्री टाइम्स सो नाउ पहले दस लोग लड़ रहे थे एक सीट पे नाउ थ्री पीपल विल बी फाइटिंग फॉर वन सीट राइट एंड देन वेन यू कॉल फॉर अ वाइवा दे वॉन्ट सेवेंटी फाइव एज मिनिम क्योंकि डेढ़ सौ नंबर का वाइवा है सो यू वॉन्ट फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ दीज मार्क्स सेवेंटी फाइव मार्क्स आपके मिनिमम ही मिनिमम चाहिए यहाँ पर वाइवा के अंदर भी अच्छा कई लोग जब वाइवा जब आप कैंडिडेट्स की यूट्यूब पे आई एम श्योर दैट देर आर लॉट ऑफ इंटरव्यूज आर देर दैट शुड भी देर तो आप देखेंगे कई लोगों का कई लोग कहते हैं यार वाइवा में कुछ हमसे ज़्यादा कुछ पूछा नहीं दो चार पांच सवाल पूछे छोड़ दिया कई लोगों के ये पीछे हाथ दो के पीछे बढ़ जाते हैं ना दिस इज़ वेरी दिस इज़ वेरी वेरी सब्जेक्टिव कि वहाँ पे वाइवा के अंदर होता क्या है कि अब किसका मूड क्या कर रहा है कौन से कैंडिडेट ने क्या बोला कैसे चल रहा है तो यू स्टाइल वैसा वाला बड़ा रिडल टाइप इंटरव्यू या बड़ा ही आपकी हार्ड पर्सनैलिटी टेस्टिंग में घुस जाएंगे ऐसा मैंने कभी नहीं सुना हो सकता है किसी के साथ ऐसा हुआ हो बट द पीपल दर आर पीपल हु आर इन इन आई रिमेम्बर फॉर माई बैच my batch and successive batches i know of 17 to 21 odd people who are in there in the in the services right now and kisi ne mujhe aisa koi interview ka bhi koi kharab experience nahi bataya to aisi cheez hai so 75 minimum and then aapka basically jo 50% jo hai date so means that is minimum required and then then they may give you a job may is the keyword not shall they may give you a job after you clear all of this अब ऐसा है कि अगर हम इसको सारी चीज़ को फिगर आउट करें हम मैर रन आउट स्पेस एंड आई थिंक दिस सेशन हैज गॉन ऑन फॉर टू लॉन्ग आई वोट कंटिन्यू इट फॉर फर्दर एंड विल विल गो इन टू अदर डिटेल्स इन फर्दर लेक्चर्स तो ये वाली जो चीज़ है ये आप एक बात समझ लीजिएगा कि इतने नंबर आप कंट्रोल नहीं कर सकते डो नॉट बी फोकस्ड ऑन का टॉस डू नॉट बी फोकस्ड ऑन नंबर बी फोकस्ड विद योर प्रेप राइट Take 12 to 15 months as the as the time frame. Up 12 to 15 months. Me le bolna bada saane, but a student beech me demotivated bhi ho jata hai. Kabi kabar confidence bhi toot jata hai. Kabi kabar you completely go off track. Kabi kabar you so so istein ki bhar me jaye field mujhe ye karna hi nahi. So a lot many times we also have to you know control those get control those emotions of a student and then keep them on track to finally take an attempt. And Ishwar ki kripa se agar ho gaya to ho gaya, right? So ye wale jo ye wala jo chakkar hai. You have to remember कि ज़्यादातर students we end up focusing on strategy and planning and and you know and just thinking about 
what all will we do but we never really get down to execution because we are overwhelmed by these numbers bas ek bar sun liya ek rough mental idea hai bas utna hi kaam karna uske baad you shift out to subjects and actually getting down and dirty with mains ka question and prelims ka question subject wise also to uske liye taiyari shuru karni hai we are starting an online batch right now that will go on for 3 months then within 3 months we'll start the offline batches for djs who primarily focused on djs right now i don't wish to um, think about any other state wo kisi ne other any other state dena ho to wo apni taiyari un specific subjects ke hisab se jo wahan pe extra puchte hain jaise uttarakhand pre mein international law bahut puchte hain yahan pe nahi puchte to waisi koi cheez karke agar aap join in karna chahte hain then do consider joining us agar aap self preparation karna chahte hain aur self preparation hoti self preparation se kya djs nikalta bahut ho ka nikalta देखिए वैसे भी विश्व में कोई ऐसा एग्जाम नहीं है सेल्फ प्रिपरेशन से नहीं निकलता कोचिंग वाले क्या है कि कोचिंग वगैरह इट्स जस्ट गाइडेंस एंड इट्स मनी फॉर सर्विसेज रेंडर्ड एंड फॉर ऑल दिस कांस्टेंट गाइडेंस द इमोशनल सपोर्ट द सब्जेक्ट वाइज थिंकिंग अबाउट व्हाट ऑल कैन द एग्जामिनर आस्क प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर द हाइस्ट प्रॉबिलिटी स्टाफ रिवाइजिंग एंड एंड रीट्यूनिंग आर अप्रोच सो कोचिंग ऑल्सो इन्वॉल्व इन्वॉल्व अ लॉड ऑफ लॉड ऑफ स्टाफ Uh, and if you're financially constrained, do not go for coaching. There's more than up to internet का जमाना है, more than ample resources available on the internet also to for you to prepare, and more than enough books available as well. We've discussed all that on this channel already. There are multiple sessions on what to do, what mindset to keep, what books to refer to. बहुत कुछ है. This was specifically dedicated to DJS. ताकि अब हम इस channel पे भी सारा जो सारा जो सामान है primarily DJS के बारे में बातचीत करेंगे. All right. let me wind up this session here hopefully this has been of help to you if you need anything else comment down below and i'll definitely try to help you out and um, and try to resolve uh, any of your queries that you have with this exam and i sincerely wish you all the very best if you already been preparing you must be knowing all of this uh, these details beforehand as well prepare well and do not lose hope or do not lose track of your preparation and just just stay on track and just complete it out all right wishing you all the very best take care bye